Hello everyone, welcome back to Academically. Today we have CAPS result and today we have with us Julie who has successfully completed her CAPS exam. So congratulations Julie and we are really happy and proud of you. Thank you, thank you so much. So Julie, tell us about your journey. How did you choose Academically? Kaise aapko Academically se connect karne ko mila? You know, aapne koi research kiya ya fir aapko kaise pata chala aur aapki journey kaisi rahi abhi tak ki? Yeah, uh, for, uh, when I was working as an assistant professor, basically for almost two years, and when I decided to migrate to Australia, I quit that job. And uh, when I was searching for a pathway, you know, to become a registered pharmacist in Australia and all of that, I I came to know about CAPS exam, like it is for overseas pharmacist or not. And further, uh, while I was searching for uh, CAPS, uh, you know, like uh, how exam pattern is and the passing marks criteria, I I found Akram sir's profile. You know, Akram sir has answered a lot more questions regarding CAPS. So, and uh, then uh, through Sir's profile, I came to know about academically. Yeah, I think Akram Sir has been inspiring a lot of people because most of our candidates, they say that, you know, they have come through Akram mm -hmm. Sir. So it's such an honor for all of us. And we are really yeah. happy that you all are uh, with us, you know, with academically. So we are really happy and we are really proud of all the students who have done so well. So, yeah. So, Julie, uh, ab aapka kya plan hai? Like, what is your plan? What are you going to do next? When are you planning to move to Australia? Yeah, my plan is to like uh, file UI as soon as possible and to migrate to Australia as soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Julie, you uh, have CAPS ka exam. Diya. So, which part did you find the most difficult? You know, starting from choosing the course to preparing for the course, still giving the exam day. So how yeah. was your journey and what was the most difficult part so far? So a difficult part is, you know, like uh, if we see APC's website, the syllabus is very lengthy. If we can uh, see like uh, topics, there are lot many topics are given in APC. And if uh, we try to do it by ourselves and uh, it, it might not be possible to cover all those topics in just five months. So which, uh, what I like about academically is uh, you included only those topics which are important for CAPS. So uh, we, we, we do not need to uh, study the other topics in uh, all of that. And I, I did not study any other materials uh, other than handouts given by academic. So this is I like about concise syllabus is there in academic. Yeah, uh, that's what our plan is, you know, ki hum jitna concise karke aur jitna zada yeah. aap logo ko bata sake ki kya aa sakta yeah. hai, what we always look up mm -hmm. to, so that wo lengthy syllabus ke chakkar mein log bahut pressure mein aa jate hai ki aapne kya kya hoga, kaise hoga, to us pressure ke karan wo phir start hi nahi kar paate hai. Haan, haan, phir or, or, or confused ho jate hai. Yeah, and the faculties were also like, uh, this much only you need to study, focus on this much only, this is the important topic. So it will, uh, it was very uh, helpful for us, you know, to study only yeah. those topics which were important. Yeah, and what part did academically play in your journey of CAPS? Yeah, it, it plays a major role in my journey towards the CAPS. Because uh, recording sessions were, which were very helpful. What happens usually is when we try to uh, attend mocks at the end, like October in November, and I started my journey in July. And when I try to attend mocks in uh, October and November, whenever I find difficulties, I immediately go to recorded sessions and look at only this five to 10 minutes of topic, whichever I find difficult, and immediately it uh, resolved my query. So it was very helpful. The other thing is mock. There were around 18 mocks were there. And yeah. uh, I attempted uh, all the mocks minimum five times. Oh, the that's third, okay. Yeah, yeah. Third yeah. is the handouts. Handouts were like Bhagavad Gita to me, honestly, because I did not study a single word outside of uh, handouts. No, any like CPR is there, Lipin course is there, but only handouts. So all of these are very important. Yeah. So, um, as according to your experience, as you have qualified your CAPS exam, kya aisi cheeze jo aapko lagta hai ki jo aspiring candidates hai, unko nahi karna chahiye apne preparation ke vakt? Yeah. Preparation ke vakt, I would say, um, don't rely on internet, first thing. There are a lot of sources available on internet. And if you joined academically 
or uh, coaching classes from academically then you should focus only on the material which is provided by academic because otherwise it will create a lot of confusion on the yeah. internet there are a uh, lot of questions are also available yeah i should not do that <laughs> yeah that's that's correct because i think jitne zyada resources pe aap rely karoge ha ha confusion aur badhega ya aur concept yeah. pe utna clear nahi ho payega exactly usse acha hai ki aap ek resource pe rely karo aur usme apne apne faculty se clear karo aur abhi kya hai jab artificial intelligence hai so we should not yeah. rely on that because our faculties rely on uh, amh australian medicinal handbook so we should yeah. uh, rely on only uh, our faculties not on ai yeah, right so would you like to tell us about the faculties like kaisa tha aapka experience kaisa aapko uh, kabhi aapne aisa feel kiya ki nahi mujhe help nahi mili ya fir maine agar do teen baar ek hi question pucha to mujhe utna acha response nahi aaya aisa kuch bhi hua नहीं ऐसा तो कुछ नहीं हुआ अल तो इट वॉज लाइक वन मैसेज अवे ऑल द फैकल्टीज टेक्निकल टीम एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टीम ऑल्सो वेन एवर वी मैसेज देम दे विल रिप्लाई क्विकली इन आवर ग्रुप ऑल्सो वेन एवर वी पोस्टेड अ क्वेश्चन इफ क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दे कैन आंसर इन वन सेंटेंस दे विल अदरवाइज दे विल रिजोल्व आवर क्वेरी इन लेक्चर लाइव लेक्चर दे विल रिजोल्विंग आर क्वेरीज इवन टेक्निकल टीम ऑल्सो i appreciate them they were just a one message away they they reply yeah, immediately I, immediately yeah we always try to be there you know if there is any team even if there is the uh, technical team you know the marketing team everybody will be there to respond yeah. back to our aspiring candidates of course so just coming to my last question anything you would like to say to our team to akram sir anything yeah another thing i want to mention is uh, like a uh, because of my concepts were very clear because obviously of the faculties they made our concepts very clear because of that uh, about 6 to 10 questions were there like i find very tricky but it was not hard for me to answer those questions because concepts were very clear so faculties make sure that we our concepts are clear and the other thing obviously who are watching this video and are be farm or family graduates wants to migrate to australia in if your goal is to clear this exam in very first go then you should consider academically yeah very first go is your goal then academically is your one stop solution yeah thank you so much julie uh, you have helped uh, a lot of uh, the aspiring candidates to know academically in a better way because our only aim is to help students as much as we can you know we just want everybody to qualify their exam because we love to see that happy smiles yeah. on everybody is that we are seeing today, today. <laughs> happy day yeah it makes us very happy and motivated to work for you you know even in a better way Yeah, yeah. You play a major role in our success. Yeah. Thank you so much for and your guidance. And we wish you all the very best for your future. We will always be in touch with you. If you have any queries, you know, any concern, you can definitely connect with our team, and we will be happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you so. Much. Thank you so much, Julie. Have a great, great time ahead. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. <laughs>